Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at finding the slope if you're given a set of ordered pairs much like this one. Now the directions here ask us to find the slope, initial value, domain, range, on and on. We're going to, in this video, focus on only finding the slope when you have a set of ordered pairs. So in order to find the slope, what we're going to need to use is what's called the slope formula. And this is just a way of writing really the definition of slope in a way that allows us to calculate it if we have ordered pairs. And so that formula is that slope is equal to y2 minus y1 x2 over x2 minus x1. And we use the symbol m for slope because, to be perfectly honest, I have no idea. If anybody knows, please leave me a comment and tell me. I'd love a very clear explanation of where that comes from. I don't personally know. So here we have our slope formula. This is just another way of saying that slope is our change in y over our change in x. That is, it's how much the y values, the range changes, when the domain changes by a certain amount. And when we deal with graphs, we usually say that the change in y is how much the line or curve rises, and the change in x is how much it moves left or right, which we call run. So we sometimes hear slope described as rise over run. We're going to stick with this formulation for now because it very, allows, or very easily allows us to find the slope from things like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take two points. Always when you find slope, you need two points in order to calculate it. And we can take any two points we'd like from this. This is linear, so we're going to have the same slope everywhere. Um, but you can still calculate slope as average rate of change, no matter what, if this is a curve, if it's a line, doesn't matter. So we're going to pick any two points we want. I'm going to take the first point, negative 10, negative 2, and this point, because, hey, why not, of negative 7 and 4. So these are my two points that I'm going to use to calculate the slope. Now one thing to remember is that when I have an ordered pair like this, the first uh, number in the ordered pair represents the domain, which we call x, and the second represents the range, which we represent with y. And over here it's the same thing. Our first number is an x value, our second number is a y value. And now what we do is we say that this one, if I wrote it down first, so I'll call it x1, y1, and then here we'll have x2, y2. This was our first one, so both of these get a 1. This was our second one, both of those get a 2. Now I'm going to substitute these numbers. x1 is negative 10, y1 is negative 2, so on and so forth. I'm going to substitute those numbers back into my slope formula. So I'll rewrite this. I'll say my slope is equal to y2, which is 4, minus y1, which is negative 2. So notice that is 4 minus negative 2 over x2, which is negative 7, min er, minus x1, which is negative 10. So again, note I have minus a negative. That's okay. That can happen. And now I just have to calculate this. So you can put this into your calculator. You would put it in exactly as 4 minus negative 2 or you can recognize that when you subtract the negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. Uh, so 4 minus negative 2 would give me 6 on top. Negative 7 minus negative 10, that's the same thing as negative 7 plus. Positive 10 would give me 3. So now I've reduced the problem to this. This is really just a division problem. This is saying do 6 divided by 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So in this particular problem, my slope that I just calculated would be 2.